Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to Geometry! And it's snowing outside. Check out our lovely Christmas tree in the back. Looks nice. I look nice. Go blue. I don't care if we just lost. Still go blue. Okay, well, um, I am having a grand time in Madison doing an AP conference. And you guys are going to be having a grand time uh, doing your homework here today. So hopefully you guys have your notes uh, passed out from uh, Friday. And if you don't have your notes, get them. Get them now. Lock down tight. And uh, enjoy the ride. All right, so we last left off. We talked about maximums and minimums. So we're going to pick up here. We'll do a little bit of review. Learn two other things besides increasing and decreasing. And then I think we'll be done. First off, all right, increasing and decreasing. And by the way, if you listen to some music in the background, that's my wife playing the piano. All right, um, look at the graph from, we start off looking at it from this side, sorry, to this side. So we are just like we're reading a book and we go from left to right, all right? And that is how we read a book. That's how I read a book anyways. So left to right, and uh, we're just going to jot it down here like that. All right. So increasing, increasing means, sorry, increasing means it's going up, okay? It'll be going in an upward pattern, okay? So the graph is going, uh, is going up. going up as you read the graph from left to right. All right. And you'll get this uh, here in a second. And decreasing means the graph is going down. Going down. Trotting in a river with a saturated liver and I wish you could deliver. Find me in the morning getting down, wood get down, going down, going down. It's called decreasing, and it's also from left to right. And just copy that sucker there, and copy that sucker there, and that helps me from writing with my pen. By the way, you guys do realize that I am just writing with this thing, and it's a little frustrating. A little frustrating. All right, and then obviously constant means the graph is, can I use constant? Constant? I'm going to use it. It's constant. It means it doesn't change. It doesn't go up. It doesn't change. Constant. As you read the graph from left to right. All right. So, for, sit for situations. All right. Now, this is called increasing or decreasing. So, if I start here, I would say this is decreasing. Okay. Until you get to a point... It's decreasing, 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 decreasing until you get to a point right here. And at that one point, everything changes. Everything changes at this point. And all of a sudden, now we are increasing. Okay? And we're increasing, increasing, increasing until that point. And now all of a sudden, we are decreasing. Okay, so you can kind of get the flavor of increasing and decreasing. It should be pretty easy. Here, we are increasing until we reach a stagnant. And this is constant. Okay, so it's staying the same. Nothing's changing. All right. Then, we are going to be going down, decreasing. And then we go increasing manner. Not too shabby, is it? Not too shabby at all. Increasing, decreasing, pretty good. All right, so let's just do a little review over all the terminology. Wilbur is walking home from school one day, and his progress is represented by the graph shown. All right, so you can see, whoop, whoop, look at him. He's walking home. All right. What is the domain of the graph? So remember, the domain is this. It's how fat you are. Okay? And I am seeing how fat, well, it starts off here, which I'm assuming is zero. And where does this graph end? Let's see. Ooh, right here. So how fat does this thing get? It looks like it goes from zero 
to 6, right? Because we're talking just the width. And it looks like it goes from 0 to 6. All right, what about the range? Well, the range represents the height. All right, the height. So how, where did I start? So how tall is she? And we are representing height. Guys, sorry, this is, all right, height. So starting at zero, and how tall does she get? All the way up to here, which is a thousand. Wow. So from zero, sorry, zero to a thousand. Mm, baby. All right. When is the graph increasing? Okay. When is the graph increasing? It is increasing from, well, let's see, from zero to where else is it going? To three. So from zero to three, it's increasing. Would you guys agree? It's going upwards, right? And then let's see, it's also increasing from five at point five to six. So something happened. Sorry. Something happened at four. I didn't mean to write four there. Five to six. All right. So decreasing, none. No decreases. There's a constant in there. Something happened. I think Wilbur got a little tired out at this section right here. Between three and five, he got a little tuckered out. Poor little Wilbur. Wilbur. What is the maximum value? Now remember, maximum value is any hill or valley. And I'm not seeing much of a hill here. Um, I would say the max is at a thousand, but I'm not really seeing that as being a hill. The minimum I'm seeing is a zero, but I don't really see that as a valley either. So I'm going to keep that blank. What are the x and y intercepts? All right. So my x intercept, where does it cross my x? And it cross my x is at zero. But in fact, it's going to be at zero comma zero is my x. And my y intercept. Where does it cross my y? Well, it crosses my y at the same place. Zero comma zero. That is also my y intercept. Does the graph have symmetry? So first of all, do you see any symmetry in this graph? Can we fold it in half and have it line up exactly? No. No symmetry. All right. So this is what your quiz is really going to consist of. We have a quiz on Thursday. Sorry, I can't find my soda. Here it is. Mm. You thought you weren't going to get to see me drink any soda today, didn't you? No, you're like, oh, thank goodness, no more soda. He's gone. I don't have to sit there and look at him. Just drink a really cold beverage. Mm. Too bad. Too bad you get to see me. All right. Next. All right, last two things. End behavior, and then the last one is average rate of change. End behavior is basically looking at the ends of both graphs and seeing how do they end. All right, guys, give it up. There's my wife. Woo! Good job. Good job. No, you're right on my shoulder. If I if I go like this, I can see you. All right, that's going to be really hard for me to do, so I'm not going to. All right, end behavior. It's how uh, I end, and uh, it's basically it's not how you begin. It's how you end, right? Okay. So is your behavior at the end worse? For some of you, it is. All right. So what does it mean? All right. So what I would say in my end behavior, my left end behavior is right here. What is happening on that left? Uh, sorry. Yeah, there we go. My left end behavior, what's going on as I go up? All right. It is increasing. Okay. It is increasing. All right. 
So as it keeps moving to the left, so if this thing was moving to the left, it would be going up. Okay? What about my end behavior on the right? Can we see this? What about this end behavior down here? What's going on down here? And as I'm going to this way, sorry, uh, this is all opposite of what I should be doing. If I go down this way, I am going decreasing. Decreasing. Wow. That's pretty easy, isn't it? End behavior. So if I was to say, what's the end behavior here of this? I would say to the left, it would be increasing and to the right, it would be decreasing. Wow. Okay, that's basically where it's going to end up. So this function, as I keep moving to the right, as time passes, it's going down. If I was going back, it would be going up. All right. Average rate of change, and we'll be done here. We'll do a couple sample problems. We'll be done. Average rate of change is defined as the change in the quantity over the elapsed period of time. For function, this is the change in the y value divided by the change in the x value for two distinct points in the graph. Just remember this. Rise over honey. Rise over. Run. See, how, when, when, how long has it been since you've done that? Man. College. All right. Rise over. You should say every day, honey. You do this every day. This math stuff you do every day. Okay. Why well, do it? I have to do it every day. All right. Here we go. Rise over run. So, what is my average rate of change? So, let's say between this point here and this point here. So how much am I rising? So I'm actually rising one, two, three. I'm rising three, and how much am I running? I'm running over five, 10, 15. Don't you dare say three. There are 15 units there. So that I can simplify as one fifth. And so between those two points, it's got an average rate of change of one fifth, okay? Now maybe, there's another question, something like this. Maybe there's a question, what's the average rate of change from here to here? Sorry, that's a bad dot. It's kind of turning into like Mickey Mouse or something. Um, well, from here to here, it's not an exact straight line, but I can still use that same formula. My rise, how much did I rise? One, two, three, four. By the way, that should be a negative negative one third because it went down three so uh, I went down four how much did it run over one two and then we all know the average rate of change negative four divided by two equals don't you dare say one half don't you dare do it don't do it all right there we go easy right easy killer all right so here we go here's an example for you guys Describe the end behavior of the graph, all right? So the left one on the left, what's happening on the left? What's happening over here? This is the left one. Ooh, it looks like it is, sorry, those are equal signs. Decreasing. On the right, it looks, on the right, it looks like it is increasing. In, I'm just going to type in because I'm running out of time. So decreasing on the left, increasing on the right. Okay. What is the average rate of change from x is negative 2? So that would be here. Because, right, this is when x is negative 2. And x is 1. Well, x is 1 is right here, so it's got to be this point. So the average rate of change between those two points. Well, I go down 1, 2. So I've got a negative 2 over, and how much did I run over? 1, 2, 3. Can't simplify that anymore, so my average rate of change is negative 2 over 3. Are there any lines that are symmetrical? Nope. 